um, the best method is the one I talked about before and that you wrote about when you saw this patient getting zapped with intracranial electrodes. That method is stronger than TMS in the sense that those are individual electrodes or pairs of electrodes in a known region of the brain um, where the, you can directly hit the region you want with very high spatial resolution. So direct intracranial stimulation with electrodes in or on the brain um, has temporal and spatial resolution um, that, uh, um, that other methods don't. Okay, so advantages of this method, just to lay them all out, um, stronger evidence than observation studies of direct causal role. Uh, like TMS, it's reversible, um, and it has great temporal precision. Disadvantages, again, it's very, very rare. You would never do this except when a neurologist needs to do it for clinical reasons anyway, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be ethical. And so you, as a scientist, you sit back and you tell all the neurologists you know that if ever there's an electrode near there in a patient who they're going to stimulate anyway, let me know because I have some questions, right? And then every once in a while you get lucky, but mostly you don't. 